The first thing that comes to mind to most people when they hear the word Iraq is war, terror, ISIS, unstable. But what if there was another side to Iraq that you didn't even know about? I wanted to clarify that we went to a part of northern Iraq called Kurdistan and Kurdistan has its own people called the Kurds. They speak their own language, which is Kurdish. They have their own government separate from the rest of Iraq. And the only thing that they don't have is their own country. So when I refer to Kurdistan, I'm referring to that part of Iraq that we were technically in. Our first day landing in Erbil it was quite interesting. All of us, Natalia, Jake, and I, we came into Erbil with no cash. The ATMs don't work, which means I can't get a visa. We had our credit card, was gonna pay with our credit card like you could in the other countries that we went to. I had to call my friend Haval. He came with cash and gave us the money that we needed and lent us money for like three days. That was only the beginning of the hospitality that we received on this trip. Saved us. Saved us. The first place we went to was Marmati. It was built into the side of a mountain called Mount Alfalf and it was built in 363 AD. It's the oldest known Christian church in the world and the architecture was absolutely beautiful. So you'll notice that there's a road that leads all the way up here and Saddam Hussein is the one who actually built a road for the church's uh, patrons to drive up. They don't have to walk these steps all of the time. The views are absolutely stunning. I can only imagine at night what it looks like outside. Monastery is also known for its library that holds the oldest Syriac Christian documents in the world. Those documents were put there in 2015 during the ISIS attacks that were going on. So the Peshmerga military, which is the Kurdish military force, occupied the monastery and kept that area safe so that all of the documents could be safe as well. I'm honestly surprised that the building is still standing because of all of the war that it's seen. But you'll notice like there was an older part to the monastery and then a newer part to the monastery. We were able to go inside where the church services were held inside there are some parts of the old monastery and some glass. You'll see that there's like encryption, some words written on it, and they're just absolutely beautiful pieces. We met a wonderful group of people. They invited us in for some dessert. We had such great conversation. They asked us what we did. You know, a lot of them said that they were uh, engineers and doctors and pharmacists and veterinarians even that are like 24, 25 years old. They're so intelligent. Honestly, I wasn't scared coming on this trip. I found out that the airport was rocketed by Iran three times this year and they were attacking the American consulate, which is attached to the airport. I'll tell you the most scary part of my trip was the driving. We're in the taxi. Um, you have to make sure you wear a seatbelt. No matter what country we went to, Georgia, Turkey, Iraq, I swear to God, I was terrified. But anyway, I'm alive. I'm here today to tell this story. And I hope you subscribe to find out more about my trip that I just went on and stay tuned.